What's up, guys? This is Dave, and today we're going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. I've been using these for four months now, and I want to talk about them. And basically, at this video, we're going to break it down if this is the best Android Buds so far. Do a little comparison and talk about the highlights of this and then i'll give you my opinion my personal review on these buds so let's crack in if you like this video or my this kind of content please subscribe because this black friday i'm preparing you guys to make professional decisions when you're purchasing your electronics and other important consumer products so the galaxy buds 2 pro they're the successor of the galaxy buds pro and they are kind of a combination between the Pro and the Buds 2 that came out. And if you watch my other videos, I can tell you that the Buds 2 have a smaller, more compact size, but the Buds Pro have all the the things that you that are really important. All right, so the highlights here, let's talk about these highlights, see how they're important they are. It talks about 24-bit hi-fi sound quality. The sound quality on the Buds Pro 2, the Buds 2 Pro, are good. It's, it's very good. Um, there is a, the interactive noise canceling is excellent as well. Now they have this 3D enhanced audio thingy mabobber. I turned it on. I didn't really, it's not that great optional. You can toggle with it and see if it's right for you. And then the secure comfortable fit. That is the biggest change in all of the buds across the Samsung line. In my opinion, this is going to be the best fit by far. I can do all sorts of things with these Buds that I could not do with the Buds 2 and the Buds Pro. I could go on a treadmill, go on an elliptical machine, uh, walk around day to day without worrying about these dropping uh, on, on the floor or on the street or in one of those on the gutter or something. You can do all sorts of activities with the Buds 2 Pro that you couldn't do with the Buds Pro, and even worse in my experience and a lot of other people's experience in the Buds 2, because this they've included, not only they make it lighter than the Buds Pro, but it's also going to be easier for, for to go in and out of your ears. It's securely, it feels like it's being sealed in there. It's just, they finally hired the necessary scientists to get it into your ear properly. It's great Bluetooth, hi-fi sound, I no complaints. I'd say it's maybe slightly better than the Pros, uh, but it's not very noticeably better, even though they're boasting this 24-bit. I think I would say it's about 15% better than the Pros at tops. The Pros have the 16-bit sound still, stereo, where this has the 24-bit stereo or the 3D sound. The uh, noise canceling is excellent with these. Uh, I would say it's a little better than the Pros because these are a secure fit than the Pros. Uh, I would say than the Buds 2. The Buds 2 is very average in comparison. So I would say the Buds 2 is just, you know, if you, if you can afford it, especially with these holiday deals coming out, I would focus on at least getting the Galaxy Buds Pro. Uh, if you can really swing it, I would highly recommend the Buds 2 Pro if you're in for an Android Bud experience. It syncs up nicely with your with your Android devices. If you have the the Fold Z phone because you're extra, you're trying to be the Picasso of your social group, you can get the Buds 2 Pro as well and be a very fancy mother trucker. You have the it syncs you, know, you get Samsung things. Uh you have the technology where you can find it with smart things. I highly recommend turning that on. Ultimately, this is the, for me, it's going to be the sound quality and the secure fit. It's 15% smaller than the Buds Pro. The Buds 2 are, are rel the Buds Pro, those stayed in my ears as well. So the Buds Pro stayed in my ears personally. And now um, I gave them to my mother. She's rocking it now. And she says that even she, and she's a smaller person than I am. And she says that the Buds 2 did not fit in her ears. But when I, she's now rocking the Buds Pro, and those actually do stay in her ears for calls and walking around and doing things like that. Now, if you're head banging or on an elliptical or something like that, that's where I would say you will occasionally drop your Buds Pro. The Buds 2, however, I've been on jogs, I've been in ellipticals, I've been walking around uh, my work office with these. 
Uh, no problem. They're secure. It's not a game. So Samsung has finally figured this out. It was super important. It's, it was what was keeping them behind Apple. So, and then, of course, you're going to have the Pro technology in there. You're going to have a nice battery life. Bluetooth 5.3, if you have a newer phone. It's going to give you some more ranges, some more features. And uh, the IPX7 water resistance, which is huge. It's great because you're going to want to keep these clean and you want to dab a little alcohol on them. Uh, you're going to want to maybe, uh, you, when you're sweating, you're going to get stuff in there. Now, should you go swimming with the Buds 2 Pro? Absolutely not. Or the Buds Pro? No, that's not what IPX7 is intended for. It's just to resist sweat, weather, and things like that. Uh, when you're working out with, with your Buds 2 Pro or your Buds Pro, this resistance is going to help re um, not uh, get that get the moisture out of there and not uh, damage the product. And that's why this is a, also a good investment over the Buds 2, which has the IPX4, which is garbage. The IPX4 is like, it's basically as resistant as any random other headphone or any other technology. I, I, don't, I don't think there's a high requirement to claim your product is IPX4. So the verdict is I've been using these bad boys now for four months. Uh, as soon as I put these in my ear, I knew they were the one. Um, and if you have a Samsung device, you absolutely lootly must get these. If you have an Android device, you must, you probably definitely should get these. If you have an Apple device, then stick with the AirPods or with the Beats. And I'm going to make a video on that for my Apple followers. So that's my verdict, guys. Um, you can save on these. Black Friday's coming up. Holiday sales are coming up. Uh, I'm sure Samsung is going to have some trade-in bonus where you can trade in your old crappy buds to, uh, to get traded towards these bad boys. I would take advantage of it. I would see if you can get this cheaper in an aftermarket sale. Uh, you might save some money there. You might save in Black Friday. Add it to your wish list, guys. This is humongous. It's a game changer. The Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Absolutely, positively. Pick one up, guys, for my Samsung Android friends. All right, thank you for watching. And if please give me a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content.